hey guys what's up okay let's continue with our video series and I'm going to teach you in this video and we'll discuss in detail about CDN so what is a CDN first we'll look at that and then we are going to have two approaches towards CDN one is that we are going to apply an image CDN separately and then a CDN for a complete website so in this video I'm going to teach you how you can apply image CDN for your website at absolutely no cost at all so first first I'm going to teach you about CDN as discussed in the previous slide or in the first slide when I was starting this uh, series we talked about how we are going to learn about the different things for example web hosting we have already talked about image compression was last video SSL certificate we already got it covered and then image CDN and CDN for complete website these two things are left for the basic things after that after these things are over we are going to split this video series into three methods or three parts then we can choose then the audience can choose whether to use free plugins premium plugins or someone who is using SiteGround hosting can choose that method but first we need to know about CDN what is a CDN let me give you an example CDN means content delivery network for example for example my website I'm in, in India and my website server is hosted my hosted server is where in UK for example let's assume it is in UK so now a person in India browsing my website will it will take a lot of time for the data to travel for the data first what will happen a user will type my uh, address URL address website URL address then the website or the browser will send HTTP request to the server for the data since the physical distance is so huge from India to UK the time taken for the first data to appear will be much much more and this is what we call in technical terms as latency this is what we call in la called as latency so to so for speed optimization what should be our purpose our purpose should be to reduce the latency rate hai na? correct so that's why what CDN does a content delivery network does is they have a network of servers dispersed across the globe and what it does it saves the static files or the data from our hosting server to its own network of servers and then when a user in India uh, browses my website the website is loaded through the nearest prox from the nearest proximate location rather than from the UK because it will take much more time for the data to travel from UK to uh, this our country so that's why uh, suppose the CDN network has one of its servers in India then the data would load up very quickly and that's that's how that's how the CDN is really really effective in speed optimization it has also many other benefits such as security benefits especially against DDoS attacks because it acts as a first line of defense okay enough of lecturing because I'm not going to make this video series as a theoretical thing but rather something you know very handy and very practical so that you can apply as we move through the videos all right so in this video I'm going to we have go, we are going to have two approaches as I told first we'll apply image CDN what does it mean that our images would be loaded from the CDN rather than from the hosting every time so it will reduce the burden on our hosting server and it will be uh, speed optimized as well so in this video we are going to do image CDN for this thing so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon because more interesting videos are coming in the next series or in the next videos all right without wasting any time let us 
apply image serial for our website and for that we are going to use jetpack if you know about little about wordpress you must be knowing about Jet jetpack because it comes from the same company which builds which made wordpress that is automatic although they have lot of plans but we are going to use the free plan and in free plan they give us site stats and this thing which is very essential for us called content delivery network or cdn so let's see how we are going to apply it feature of jetpack is called site accelerator and it was previously known as photon just remember it so for example let's go to plugins and add new plugins and just type jetpack Ah, rather it is here also fine jetpack just install this plugin by automatic there is also one jetpack crm not that but this one wp security backup speed and growth i hope i hope uh, it is very clear to you how it is important why it is important to apply a cdn for your website let's activate this plugin okay the first thing would be to integrate our website with the jetpack so we'll just click on setup jetpack and if you have not made any uh, you can easily log in or connect your website with your google account or if you have not made any website you can just go to just register on wordpress.com and then you will be able to connect with the jetpack so yeah, there are a lot of options i'll just connect with the google right my google account will do well with this so let's click this account I hope yeah it is logging in shouldn't be a problem it's a heavy plugin I can give you this thing uh, you should know this thing that it's a heavy plugin so please do not use uh, many features of this plugins rather just you know just use the feature that I'm going to tell you otherwise it would be a negative uh, thing for your website so it is telling us to choose a plan let's go below and choose the free plan okay let's start for free as of now maybe in the future if we like the features we'll buy a plan okay so now we are registered we have connected our website it shows jetpack uh, free means that's our plan in the right hand side here is settings option just go to settings and leave everything disabled leave everything disabled as per my recommendation if you are not using any plugin for security purpose i uh, then you can enable this feature of brute force attack protection otherwise if you are using any plugin just disable this feature as well i'm going to use any some other plugin so let's disable this for now what we are concentrated in this video is to apply a image cdn so let's focus on that for now go to performance tab and here is the main feature as I already told you the feature name is site accelerator which was previously called photon so this is site accelerator just enable this thing okay as soon as we enable this there are two options which gets enabled automatically one is the image load time we want this because this is what we want this is what is the image CDN so let's keep it enabled and the second is the static file static files means CSS and JavaScript files I personally do not recommend you to enable this feature rather keep it off why I'm saying that because I have used it on many websites and it may break your website or it will cause some you know negative things on your website it may not load properly it may have issues and it will t rather of improving the website it will degenerate degrade your uh, speed so just keep speed up image load times and this is the purpose of our video this is the image CDN just enable site accelerator speed up and it is saved automatically so now let's check whether our image uh, is loading through our own server or from the CDN let's check let's open our website let's scroll below for checking that our website is not breaking it's working fine let's take this image and click on right click and click inspect let's inspect from where it is loading right okay let's this is the URL let's open it in a new browser to show you clearly okay this is my URL this check this thing i1 dot wp dot com this is not my hosting server rather it is loading from the CDN it is loading from WordPress the CDN image my all in my images are now loading through jetpack and this is how you apply an image CDN flawlessly to your WordPress website I all are now 
I'm repeating my point that Jetpack is a heavy plugin. Do not enable any of the features. If you want, you can just opt for brute force attack protection and keep everything else disabled. This is the only thing we want from this and we have successfully added an image CDN for our website. Next video will come with I'll come with something new and something more interesting. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing now.